Hello, I welcome you all. Uh, here we have been asked to determine uh, the moment of a 200 Newton force about the x-axis using both the scalar and uh, the vector analysis. Let's write down the components of these particular forces in all directions. All right, uh, so we do have we do have this force here, okay, we do have the other force there, and uh, I know to say I do have the other one in that direction, okay, because uh, we know cos 120 is negative, so I'll use rather this angle here. Okay, to 120, I'm going to use this angle here, which is equal to a 180 minus 120 equal to 60 degrees. All right, so let's work them out. So this one is 200. This is 200, uh, cos 16. And is equal to 100. This is um, 200 uh, cos 60 and is equal to 100. And this one is 200 cos 45. Okay. Right, so let's start with um, the scalar. The scalar analysis. Let's start with the scalar analysis. Scalar analysis. So moment about the x-axis. Which forces are going to cause moments is only two. This one and um, this one. This one won't because it is parallel. Okay, only two. So for this one, it is causing this moment in this direction. That's positive using the right hand, right hand thumb rule. The thumb direction of the moment carried is moving in that direction like so. So it's positive. So that becomes a 200 cos 45 times the lever arm, which is 0.03. Then we have this one in this opposite direction. So this one is going in this direction, opposite. Okay, it's going in this direction, it's negative. So this is just going to be equal to minus 100 times the lever arm 0.25. Therefore, our MX, our MX, just becomes equal to grab your calculators and work it out so it's 200 cos 45 by 0.3 then 100 by 0.25 so this we get a positive uh, 43 units of newtons uh, meter so we are done with this one let's go to the vector analysis okay let's go to the vector analysis for the vector analysis what do we do we need our moment arm like so and this we're going to call it ra then the coordinates for this uh, coordinates for this is point zero along the x-axis mm -hmm. zero along the x-axis and point three along the y and point two five right so we can simply say our ra is just equal to uh, zero i Okay, plus 
0.3j plus 0.25k and our f is just equal to um, minus 100 i or minus 100 j now this one is positive okay and then plus 200 cos 45k okay so this is our force vector all right so there we go so mx is just equal to the unit vector along the x-axis dot the moment vector about o right and uh, we know that we know that mo itself is equal to ra cross f okay so let's now use that mat matrix that determinant uh, method so now we can say mx is equal to let's draw that we can draw it like that and be up to somewhere there all right so enter all the values in there the first row will be the unit vector which is one zero zero second one is a position vector ra which is 0 0 0.3 and 0 0.25 and finally we have the force which is minus 100 then we have 100 then we have 200 cos 45 let me move this so maybe i have a bit of space and i move this maybe somewhere there cos 45 cos 45 okay therefore my mx just becomes equal to uh, 0.3 by 200 cos 45 and minus that so this just gives me a 17.43 newton meters all right i guess this is about it we have we expect to have the same values regardless of the method that you use so this is finally the final solution right so i hope this particular video was helpful and if it was give me a thumbs up like my video continue subscribing and liking my channel bye bye and i'll see you in my next uh, screencast